Today we're gonna look at two things. We're gonna look at this bad boy and we're gonna look at some performance optimizations. If you're new to my channel, I'm building a fireworks simulator game while having a wife, two kids, a full-time day job and a dog. It all started around New Year's Eve 2019 when my oldest son asked me to help him find a fireworks simulator. We couldn't really find any so I was like, hmm, maybe I can build this. Here on my YouTube channel you will find devlogs and live streams documenting my journey all the way from day one and the early prototypes to present time which is post steam release where I keep updating and evolving the game in close dialogue with the community around it. So if you think a fireworks simulator game like Fireworks Mania sounds fun and you like watching devlogs of how it's being made, well you come to the right place. Okay, let's start by getting the review of this um, Avia Media webcam out of the way. Right now you are looking at the Logitech C930E, I think, which is my webcam that I've been using for the past four or five years or something like that. So it's kind of old <clears throat> and I was expecting to be something new I could kind of upgrade to that made sense, um, but still be a webcam. One of the things that I that is annoying me with the Logitech is that it forgets its settings on each reboot and I have asked Google and it seems like nobody have a fix for that without doing a lot of work I don't want to do. So my first thing is I need at least a camera that can remember its settings from reboot to reboot. Shouldn't be a big thing, but apparently it is for Logitech, uh, for some reason. Anyway, so I stumbled upon this Ava Media PW513. It have, uh, yeah, pictures, uh, some specs, and um, 4K IPSing, 94 degrees airdrop, and something else. Anyway, so I got this one, and the software that comes with it is something called Cam cam engine and um, it works okay i'm not a webcam geek and i don't want to spend too much time on it it just needs to work so i just plugged it in installed the software and dragged around in some knobs because in the first go it was just like weird so i got it to something where i didn't look look super sick in my skin it was kind of yellowy it still is a little but um yeah <clears throat> anyway let's take a look at how the av media looks so, this is David Media. If I do a switch back and forth here, um, you can see I I look kind of green or, well, it, it's hard for you to see, of course, because you cannot see me in real life, but I don't know. I look a little green, yellowish in my skin and I can drag a knob a little, but, but then it becomes too dark and then in the evening it doesn't work. It, yeah. It's fine. Um, one thing that I notice is that <clears throat> if you, for instance, look at this oil here, um, it's uh, it's sharper on the AV media. But this is also much bigger. It's actually it can actually record in 4K, 4K. But yeah, it might be 4K, but it's not super sharp. I'm on the AV media now, and I think it will stay there. So the AV Media, I think actually, I haven't checked the prices, but I think the AV Media is kind of twice the price of the Logitech. And is it twice as good? Mm, uh, not really quality wise. Maybe if I put off some more lights, I don't know, maybe. But uh, the software cam engine is pretty great and it remembered setting from reboot to reboot. So enough AV Media PW513 um, review. Let's get into the more exciting stuff on some performance improvements I have did on Fireworks Mania this week, which actually ended up being pretty significant. So um, yeah, let's take a look at that. So this week I actually only managed to do one of my tasks that I was planning to do. At first sight that might seem like a bummer, but it's actually a pretty good uh, one that I completed. <laughs> I won't go into the technical detail too much uh, because the majority of you are most interested in the game and not developers. But if there are any game devs, let me do a quick little recap. I rewrote most of the use of coroutines with the async awake uh, architecture with the uni task uh, package. That should give some performance. Um, another thing I did was change how 
things are ignited and how chain reactions work. In short, before chain reaction was just like going crazy. So crazy that too much was ignited at once so that the game froze. And this was actually uh, my main issue because one thing is that FPS goes down in this game because I I can do a lot of stuff and I do all the time but I can never keep it at consistent 60 FPS on all machines because there are currently as you know no limits so you can po so you can spawn whatever you want and it it will always be hard on your computer at some point uh, of course the more powerful computer you have the more you can do that makes sense right but what annoyed me when I see videos and streams is that as everybody playing the game, they want to fill a house with stuff. They want to fill the church with stuff. They want to fill the streets with stuff and then fire it all off and see the chain reaction go nuts. That's also a part of this game and this, it is fun. My problem with that is that in all cases, it end up freezing and going to zero FPS and that's fun and now we have all laughed of that. Um, I really wanted to do something so that it didn't do that. So we instead at least had a few frames per second so we could see progress and stuff could happen even though it goes down and it's hard and you know you you kind of feel how crazy the explosions are because the FPS goes down it kind of gives this even though it's not on purpose it it gives this sense of it being really crazy, which it is, because you are firing off like 400 uh, propane tanks or something like that. So I wanted to solve that problem. So to benchmark this, I did a new blueprint, and that's another benefit of having these new blueprints, is that I can make a blueprint with some stuff. In this case, I filled the streets with the propane tanks. Um, I don't know how many actually, but a lot. And uh, then I had a fuse going up to the mountains, so I could ignite it from there. So I could have a consistent and the same show, or the same blueprint go off every time. So I could kind of see, you know, when things are improving. And at the end, and this is the footage I will show you in a moment i did uh, i took this blueprint went to the previous version the 2021 4.2 went up to the mountains ignited the entire blueprint here and recorded everything and then i did this the same thing on the new version the 2021 4.3 which is the version i'm been working on this week that you will have access to after this video on the experimental branch that is if you don't know what the experimental branch is and how to do it check out my channel with there is a another video about something like betas on steam or something like that so you can see how you switch but anyway um so i make these two recordings and then i sync them up here in my edit uh, in my video editing software and i actually want to play everything well i want to play the entire clip for you here in a second and then do some voiceover where i talk about some of the stuff going on while it goes on uh, i don't want to cut this down because if i do that you i think you lose the sense of how big of an impact this actually have because it's not like the new version is just running like 100 fps constantly no problem it goes down it goes down to 5 and 10 and all that Let's take a look at that footage and I know it's it's about I think it's about 3 minutes but uh, let's watch it together. Okay, so what you see here uh, on the top is the previous version and the uh, below one is the current version. The sound in here is all from the new version, the bottom one. The reason for that is that the sound in the top one stops at, at certain points. But anyway, here in the beginning you will see that it's uh, very um, confusing because a lot of stuff is going on. But in a minute you will see the effect even more. Because even in the beginning here, the one uh, at the bottom, the new one, still goes down in FPS. And as I said before, it will do, of course. But, but pay attention to the top one now and the bottom one. The top one freezes like for 5 seconds, 10 seconds, and you see it, it's totally frozen now. Nothing happens. There was a frame. And again, let's see when another frame comes in the, in the top one. There again. So like 5, 6 seconds where it just freezes up completely. And you've all seen that and tried that, I guess, playing the game. But looking at the bottom one, yeah, yeah, we are down to like 10, 20 FPS, but it runs stuff happens almost um, 
yeah, at least once a second, you can say. Um, the number you can see below the FPS, that's the time it took in the previous frame. And you can see the top one, one frame took 8955 milliseconds. That's almost nine seconds for one frame. Where in the bottom one, they take around 33, 40 milliseconds, which end up being the same as like 10, 20 FPS. Uh, it goes up and down all the time. And time-wise, there's no difference. This, These two clips, again, I can't remember. I think it's three minutes something, but they run more or less the same length. Uh, so it's not like the bottom one is uh, done quicker with these entire explosions than the top one or the other way around. Uh, they complete at the same time. So, so the the entire explosion um, sequence is the same. You just don't see a lot of it in the top one because it's just basically a PowerPoint with uh, one frame every 10 seconds or something like that. And as I said, we all laughed at that. It was fun for the streamers and everything. But often what also happens is that the momentum that streamers and when you guys are playing, you the momentum drops because it freezes for too long and because it freezes for too long the sounds also stops so all the explosion goes away and you're basically just sitting there and waiting and now you can see they are getting more or less back to the same there's still more fps in the bottom one but the entire sequence took more or less the same time and it was just a more pleasant experience in the bottom one so this was it for this devlog. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, both the video and the changes if you give them a try on the experimental branch. I would really like to know because this is a huge uh, internal core part of the game that has been changed. So that's I'm very excited to hear what you think about it. See you in the next video and if you want to see more, click on some of the videos that will pop up here in a moment. See you in the next video.